problem that you've got is, if you're going to insure something, you need to do it properly. Because otherwise, you might as well keep the money in your back pocket. An insurance policy is only good if a claim occurs. And, and if a claim occurs, you want the claim settled properly and in full. And if you haven't got those sums insured correct, then that isn't going to happen. It's not that the insurers don't want to pay out all the money. They will stand by the, the, the wordings of their policy. The issue that you have, of course, with underinsurance is the fact that you have average on a, on a policy. And so in the event of a claim and the loss adjuster, and, and this is one of my clients, so I would be there as well, um, they're looking round at, at what's, what's remained of, say, a fire. The loss adjuster will look at that and look at what he feels would be a true replacement cost of what you're effectively claiming for. And the problem is, if you are underinsured, then they will apply what's known as the average clause, which means that, you know, if they're 20% underinsured and they've got a £100,000 claim, for instance, they will only pay £80,000. Now, to a garage, um, you know, that, that, that's a lot of money. And therefore, it's very important that all sums insured are adequate for what they're required. Ultimately, an insurance policy requires you to be adequately insured. And they're on a, normally on a, what we call a reinstatement basis. That means that at the time of the claim, your sum insured should reflect how much it will cost to replace that item new for old. So if you've got a ramp, your ramp might be five years old. If your policy is on a reinstatement basis, however much it would cost to replace that ramp that day, brand new, is what should be reflected in your sum insured. Buildings at the moment, that's, that's a big one with, with inflation. We're seeing um, increases on index linking, which is done by the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors. You know, and, and you need to make sure with your policy as well that your sums insured are index linked. And if they're not, then you need to be considering that at renewal. So as a broker, what we find when we go in to see clients, they will, we will do a fact find and a review and they will ask us the question, what is your admin fee? Our reply will be, we do not charge admin fees. Embedded in our DNA as a business are traditional broker values. We don't believe that any incurred costs around administration should be passed on to our client. In some cases, we have seen admin fees being charged at £45 a policy, right up to £195 for a renewal premium. From a personal point of view, I've never agreed with admin fees on commercial business. Um, it, it, to me, it's not right. I would suggest that they would probably try and offset it by saying that, you know, cost of FCA increases, you know, in terms of that type of thing. But no, the, an admin fee is, to me, unnecessary. And I certainly know that in Kingfisher, we we will not be charging admin fees to, to clients. We, we're in a cost of living crisis as it is. So in, in terms of people needing to save money, that's one area that we can help in not charging those sort of fees. The relationship with your client, we are account facing, we will go and see every client. If a client wants a visit, we will send a specialist expert in the motor trade sector to go out and see the client. What's really important is our client always needs us the most at the time of a loss or incident. That is when they need us more than ever, not at renewal not at a change of vehicle or an MID update. It's all around helping that customer through that claims journey from start to end, mitigating the loss to protect their loss ratio, to protect their future renewal premiums. You can pay, go year in, year out, paying your premium, wondering what you're paying it for because you've never had to use it. The day that incident happens, that large loss, you come to work, you've had a flood, you've had a break-in, that is when you need your broker, that is when you need your insurance policy and that is when we as a broker should kick in and deliver that service to our client and protect them through that whole process. It's a very stressful time for them. They don't need to be bombarded with a hundred questions from a loss adjuster. They need their broker side by side working with them through the claim. For an admin fee, I would be transparent and say you are not getting anything over and above what you would get from a broker that did not charge an admin fee. You will still receive the same set of quality documents from your insurer. You will still receive contract certain terms, your demands and needs, all compliant with the FCA. So by paying an admin fee, you are genuinely not getting anything over and above. They are an incurred cost 
to the business due to administration around the FCA compliance, we absorb that cost as a business. We do not pass that cost on to the client. I think you need to be talking to someone that understands the industry, as in the insurance industry, but also understands the, the, the motor trader. And they need to be, you know, sitting down with those people, going through um, what they've got, looking at where their exposures are. Someone like me, it's my job, if I go out to see a client, I need to understand their risk. I'm the one with the insurance knowledge, and I need to understand from them what it is that they've got, where their exposures are, and you know, looking at the, the potential of, of risk occurring. And we write that, once that we've got that information, that's where, that's my job then to go away, to find the solution that they need to give them the full true cover that they need, but obviously at a price that's affordable. I've been in the insurance sector for 37 years and I've specialised in the motor trade sector for 23 of those. And I have seen that the industry itself is, is a completely different animal than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. And garages pride themselves on their reputations. They join high quality garage networks. Brokers need to learn that they can't just keep adding on these costs to the business.